as the two teams come out for this final. The atmosphere sounds festive and that's almost entirely down to the fans of Ipswich Town. Because the Ipswich players, when they went on the pitch before the match, were really amazed at how many people have made the trip from Suffolk. In fact, there are 7,500 Ipswich supporters here inside the Olympic Stadium in Amsterdam. And what a sight they're making with their blue and white balloons and flags. Two changes from the first leg in the AZ team. At number two there, Hans Reinders comes in for the injured Richard van der Meer. Then as we go through, the rest of the back four the same. Spelbos the stopper, Hovenkamp the left back. In midfield, Jan Peters number six. Nigard, the Danish international number ten. They all played at uh, Portman Road. But number seven, Veltzel, the Austrian international. He comes in in place of Case Kist. Veltzel came on as a substitute late in the first leg and made quite an impression. So tonight, it's Kist who starts on the bench. No problems as far as fitness is concerned in the Ipswich lineup. Franz Tyson and Paul Mariner both came through tests all right. Indeed, the only difficulty Ipswich have had is uh, for Muren and Tyson to get enough of the best seats for their many fans and admirers and family uh, relations and so on who want to see this match. And indeed, the fact that eight Ipswich players got stuck in a lift going down to get the team coach to come to the stadium. But those minor problems apart, they're in good spirits. AZ in red shirts and white shorts get this second leg started. They're three goals behind, bear in mind, playing from right to left, and they've switched the match to this Olympic Stadium in Amsterdam because their own ground in Alkmaar only holds about 18,000 people. Away by Arndt. Tyson! Oh, what a start for Ipswich! They scored! And the Dutchman, Franz Tyson, put it into a tremendous position here because AZ now have got to score five to win the cup. Well, the corner curled in and watch for Franz Tyson, number four, on the volley. The goalkeeper never moved. Three minutes gone. Tyson for Ipswich. Number nine, Metos. Number five, Hovenkamp. Plays it in for Johnny Metos, a great run by the sweeper. Cooper made him delay, he turned it back, and there's a goal! Bertzel. The equaliser. For AZ, coming almost at once. Cooper was out of position, and Bertzel came in on Metos' cross, and it's 1-1. One, one. Here's Jonker. Veltzel is square. Nigard. Veltzel. It's going to come to Metot. And Veltzel's there again. Denied only by the woodwork. Veltzel pulling right this time, finding Petters. Johnny Metot. 2-1 on the night to AZ, and Johnny Metot, the sweeper, is having a stormer. The ball was played wide to Jan Petters. Metot came in, got a glance on it to Cooper's right. 2-1 to AZ. Mariners flicking his on. Johnny Walk's in there! Johnny Walk! John Walk equals Alcafini's record of 14 goals in Europe. The corner taken by Arnold Muren. Paul Mariner up at the near post. Flick the ball back. And as John Walk pulled away from those two defenders, he scored with a volley with final touch but couldn't keep out. And that means now that if we have got two away goals, so the Dutch have got to score four again to win on the night by six goals to two to take the aggregate and therefore the cup. Five minutes left in the first half. Petters for AZ, away by Mills. This is Arns. Forward for Johnny Metot again. Jonker is in there. Toll! Here's Toll for AZ. 
3-2 on the night. And again, it's rich, sloppy in the air. This is Arts on the ball at the moment. It was floated in again. Once more, that man, Medhot, number four, is forward. Wasn't challenged, flicked the ball on. The aggregate score now to Ipswich is 5-3, and the Dutch need three more again. Five minutes left in the first half. We've seen five goals. But the Dutch, remember, are looking for a 6-2 win to take the cup. Oh, here comes Mariner. And he gets held back there by uh, Reinders, who himself seems to be hurt. Ipswich started the second leg, knowing that if they could prevent the Dutch scoring three goals, they would win the UEFA Cup. And that's how it stands now, at the beginning of the second half. Jonker to Nigard, looking for Veltz, or Butch is waiting for Cooper. And that wasn't a very easy catch. Set up the kiss. And it's Rich finally get a tackle in, only as far as uh, Nigard number 10. What a good effort by him and a brilliant save by Paul Cooper. Ipswich again, standing off, Nigard this time. Petters, Hovenkamp, Hovenkamp shot! Spear in Dutch International, the left back. Arntz. Petters. That's awkward. Oh, what a great save by Paul Cooper. And Veltzel can't believe it. He thought that one was on its way, the Austrian. It was a good header. Jan Petters got to the dead ball line and pulled it back. And Veltzel met that with power. What a save. And Walk goes for the shot. Well, he might have broken out of record there, having already equaled it tonight. That's Jonker with the shot. What a terrific drive. Terry Butcher tucked in Cooper's line of flight, but look where the shot went. Right in the corner. Brilliantly delivered. And the Dutch, now I think there may have been something thrown on the pitch there. The Dutch now make it 4-2 on the night and require two more. The aggregate score is now 5-4 to Ipswich. If the Dutch were to score one more, that's not enough. Ipswich would then win on away goals. The Dutch want two. And Reinders concedes a corner. Just over 10 minutes to go and George Kessler, the Dutch coach, making a second substitution when he can. That's not uh, Van den Dungen, incidentally. This is Ricky Tallon, number 14, to replace Kurt Veltzel. Tallon replaced Van den Dungen on the bench just before the start because Van den Dungen was injured in training. So it's Veltzel off and Tallon on. Petters to Arntz. Difficult that off. Well, they just didn't watch Jonker coming in there. Oh, he's going alone. Oh, what a great tackle by Butcher. And we're going into time being added on for stoppages. And in goes the corner and another header coming in. And Jonker again posing problems. On. Johnny Metcott again. They'll be glad to see the back of him, which I can tell you. Cooper's made two splendid saves. The flag is up for offside against Brazil and Ipswich win the UEFA Cup on an aggregate of five goals to four. After a thrilling second leg here, which AZ won on the night, 4-2. Tyson put Ipswich ahead, 
AZ then scored twice, walk level for Ipswich, two more goals for AZ. A very anxious quarter of an hour then for the English side, but Ipswich Town have lifted a trophy in their 66th match of the season, and 7,000 and more fans from Suffolk are able now to celebrate at the end of this dramatic season for their club. Nick Mills has just played his 667th senior match for Ipswich Town and his reward for that unstinting service is the UFA Cup. The reward for his team's enduring efforts this season. They chased three trophies, they missed out on two, but they finished up with one.